Hello Year 12. This video is going to talk you through the requirements for your trial examination, which will be next term. So you've received your gold sheet, which has the following outline. So you'll notice that the exam is worth 30% of your final um, in-school assessment mark. We're assessing those four outcomes there, um, and it's going to be in week three, term three. Now the actual date will be published when the timetable is put together. You might be thinking we're handing this out pretty early, um, but you'll see from my slides that it's not just an assessment notification, but an attempt to help you get organised. So you'll be able to create a study plan of how to prepare across the remainder of this term, the holidays, and of course the beginning of next term. Okay, so in the trials, like the real HSE, English is the only subject where you'll sit two papers. So on two different days, you'll sit paper one, go home, have a sleep, come back and do paper two. Paper one is what we call the common paper. Now you've already had experience with this paper when you did your skills test in the gym. So paper one, as it says on the screen here, assesses the common module text and the human experience. For this paper, you'll have 10 minutes reading time followed by an hour and a half of writing time. There are two parts to paper one, the reading section and an essay. The reading section, just like your skills test that you did in the hall, will have short answer type questions on unseen texts. The text, as it says on my slide here, are a range of text types. So you might not know uh, whether you know it's poetry or prose fiction, um, it could be an extract from a magazine, it might have visuals. The challenge is you have to be prepared for all of those text types. And if you cast your mind back to the workshop that we all rotated through in the theatre, I gave you some tips about how you can get comfortable understanding sort of or you know learning to see what techniques are common for those different text types. Now the questions will ask you to analyse how that text represents an idea about the human experience. And I'm being quite detailed in my notification that there will be one slightly longer response like you had in your trials, where you'll need to synthesise between two texts. So it might be a compare type question or an evaluate type question that has two of the text from um, section one. So that's 45 minutes and 20 marks. After that, you'll have an extended critical response that's also 20 marks and 45 minutes. So they're weighted equally. The second section is what students tend to spend more time preparing for, and that is your human experience essay. So for you guys, it's obviously on past the shallows. Now I've put a note here that you don't need a related text, because remember when you did your podcast, you needed to use a related piece of material from the booklet. You don't need that. It's very much like what you did in the, the uh, skills week, an essay on past the shallows where you're asked to form a clear argument about how the text represents human experiences. Now, they're both weighted equally. So I'd encourage you to try to manage your time to ensure that the reading task is done with just as much detail and depth as the essay. Okay, so the next day you'll do paper two. Now this is where the course splits. So there's a specific test for standard and a completely different paper for advanced. So for you guys, it's the following. You'll have three sections and all three sections will be assessed in the trial. So you'll have module A, which is language, identity and culture, which is of course the castle. You'll have module B, which is your close study, that's Robert Gray. And module C, the craft of writing. For this paper, you only have five minutes reading time. So unlike your Robert Gray test that you did recently, where you were able to plan in those five minutes, planning time in the trial is just reading. It's intellectual planning. You can't mark the paper in any way. You'll then have two hours and you have to manage your own time and split it equally across the three sections in 40 minute blocks. So they're all weighted equally and they've all got the same amount of um, marks attached to them. Okay, so for um, the castle, it's an essay. For Robert Gray, it's an essay, very similar to what you've just done for your assessment. And then in module C, I'm actually giving you a little bit of detail of what we're requiring. So you will need to compose a piece of writing, and I'm saying here that may be imaginative, discursive, informative, or persuasive, uh, which is very similar to what you did for your assessments. 
Um, but I'm also telling you in here that you'll have a reflection type part of the question. So you will be asked to compose a self-reflection um, or like a you know self-evaluation of your work. Um, very similar to what you did in your try in your um, assessment task. The split of marks you don't know, so you have to be prepared for that. We can split it any marks we like. We can say 10, 10, 12, 8. It's completely up to us. So you will need to, because you have a reflection, make some link to your module C text. So I'd urge you to be prepared for that. Okay, so the reason I said we're handing this out quite early is because we want you to be prepared so you can understand what's coming in the trials, but also so you can start using this time wisely to build a study plan. So each of you have been given a copy of this table. Um, now, it's only one model. Some of you might have your own study techniques and I also um, did that presentation on the hubs recently about how to study for English. But what you've got here is a list of activities, a list of tasks, if you like, that you can be completing between now and the trials to better get you prepared. I've broken them into the five components. Some of them you'll see are harder than others, so it might be writing essay responses under time conditions. Some of them might be things like revising JEDL or creating your own flashcards. What I urge you all to do now is to actually read through those and think which are the ones that I should prioritise and maybe rank them in the order on the right hand side. So do a bit of self-reflection. So perhaps you need to go back and really rework module C. You might not have been particularly happy with those marks. You might want to prioritise those so that you can start to submit that stuff to your teacher for feedback, have conversations with them. Um, you'll see at the bottom as well, I've got some gen general or generic type tips for things to do. Uh, regardless of what you're doing for study, I just want you to make sure that you, what you, when you are studying, it's hard. Study should not just be, I'm going to write out my notes nice and neat and clean and tidy. Study should be academically challenging. Otherwise, it's not going to be doing you any good. All right, if you have any questions about the trial, please speak to your classroom teachers, or obviously I'm always available if, you, if you've got any questions. Use this next few weeks to study hard and um, begin preparing. Thanks, Year 12. <laughs>